This past week, most of you have probably been playing Sunbreak, but not me. I've been stuck in 3U for the last eight months. I had to completely retrain myself for Rise. And let me tell you, there is so much I appreciate about this game now. Welcome back, Classy Crew, to the start of a new pledge. The Rise and Sunbreak quests are ahead of me, and I have to complete every single one, including all the event quests, all the low rank quests, all the high rank quests, and all the master rank quests. There's so many quests to do, especially since all the progress I did last year in my Rise journey has been basically reset because I moved over to PC, and I'm restarting there. So go. my first stream and my first attempt at, at getting through this pledge I was really hoping to start Sunbreak and go to Elgato and see what all the new things were. So I started the stream earlier, five hours stream in total, and it was all just re-familiarizing myself with Rise, grinding out high rank. By the end of the stream, I unlocked the final Narwa quest. So the, by the time this video drops, I have Narwa in front of me and then the road to Elgato will be opened. Now that doesn't mean that I can just go full master rank right away. I still need to clear all my low rank stuff, all my high rank stuff. And to be fair, because I know some of you are going to, 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 to toss some criticism, I will do the high rank event quests if there's a way to know about them with high rank gear. So I'm not gonna go in my master rank gear, do the high rank quests because I guess that, yeah, that would ruin the spirit of the pledge. So this past week, I'm not really gonna talk about the quest I did. If you want to see my thoughts on those quests, check out my Rise adventure because I did those quests back then. Instead, I wanna share with you how it was like to go from a 10 year old game to a modern game as someone who had only experienced World and Rise. And the first thing I entered the game, well, there was just so much blasted at me. First of all, I was overwhelmed as you, as I usually am with Monster Hunter. There were speech bubbles everywhere. Everybody was giving me stuff. All sorts of stuff was happening. I had just unlocked Hunter rank five. And the first thing that I kind of chuckled in like, new old world is they gave my palamute a bag and they're like here for when your pouch is full I'm like oh you're giving me pouch extensions wow really wish i had a few of those in 3u the next thing i i had to learn and discover and really appreciate was when i went to battle and i started morphing my switch axe i was like oh my god it's so fast like i'm running up to the monster i just i was just like slice never i was like oh my god it's so quick and then he went to attack me and i went to like do my usual three you like hop but instead i rolled back and then i i was like i can move so much i can roll in any direction i can roll back i can roll back in i can reposition and i can go from axe to sword to axe and it was so empowering like if you ever feel weak or or any like belittling of your power go play switch x 3 you for a good week just like go in there 40 hours and then go to rise and you'll just be like oh the next thing freaking trauma of cold drinks and hot drinks i know these things don't exist in rise and yet whenever i would load into a cold zone or a volcano level i was like oh my drinks and i was like oh you don't need the drinks. You don't. I could like the fear. I felt the fear that I didn't have the drinks, even though I knew the drinks weren't in the game. That's how conditioned I've become from 3U. And that's just playing once a week. It's not like I was playing this thing every night and I still got freaking traumatized of not having my drinks. The next thing was the radial menu. And I felt like such a like old school hunter, I guess, because I saw the radial menu. I'm like, no, 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 don't give me that. Give me my scrolly wheel. I don't know how to use this new fancy modern radial menu, which is something I grew like I grew up with as in I became a hunter on the radial menu. So at first I was really like, I couldn't do radials and I was just like going through my um, menu like the old world. Uh, eventually I grew back into the radial menu as I remembered what I slotted and how to use it. I slowly reconditioned myself to the radial menu. Another thing that 3U taught me, and I know a lot of you who watched my old rise my original rise journey would often comment on my camera locking and i never understood i was like who needs the camera lock and i i don't think i ever camera lock so much but i really noticed it now because in 3u i camera lock everything like you want you have to if you want to keep track of where the monster is going you need a lock on that thing and you need to reset your camera so i am absolutely shocked that i didn't do that before in rise because it was very noticeable to me that I'm like, oh yeah, I need to lock on the camera 
and I need to like recenter it. I think it's the recentering I wasn't doing a lot of. Now, I don't remember doing this as much before. I may have, I haven't watched the old streams, but it really felt obvious that, oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta do your camera lock and you gotta reset your camera. That's how you pro hunt here. The next thing was my um, actual efficiency with the switch axe. I was just really shocked. I was using my old world combo my 3U combo, but now I was like trying to play with all the new gimmicks that are thrown into Rise. Not really gimmicks, but new extensions of the combo. One thing I, I noticed was my switch axe seemed to be like um, electrified, charged up more often. And I do remember with my playstyle back when I did my first run through Rise, I had troubles charging up my switch axe. And I don't know why, because it was constantly charged now. I'm like, yeah, I just do this combo and it's always charged, like instantly. And that does more damage. So my play style, I can't even really tell you why or how, has just naturally become more efficient to the weapon I'm using. The other thing is my zero sum discharge. I used to pull that thing off as often as I could, especially coming from world going into rise. I would just throw it into my combo. And now I'm like, no, you idiot, you don't do that. You use the zero sum discharge only if the monster is down, if it's tired, if it's not moving, you use it when you have this big opening. Otherwise, you're gonna go on Aknasom when it's going like kar, 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 and it's just gonna fireball you to death. It just seemed so obvious and common sense. Like I've, here's that word, I've leveled up as a hunter. I feel it. I'm just like, why would I? No, you gotta wait for the monster to go down. Like it just, it trained me. The old world has trained me so much. The old map, seeing the freaking flooded forest and the desert again, after having played it so many times in 3U, and now to be back in Rise and being like, oh yeah, you walk through here, yep, it's designed like this, I go to the right here, yep, there's a little hill. Like, I just know my way around these maps, which is, well, maybe not the desert one so much, but the flooded forest, I've gone around that thing so many times. Uh, the other thing is the monster appreciation. Fighting the monsters that didn't leave a huge impact on me the first time I met them in Rise, like Volvidon, uh, Royal Ludroth, the fact that I've gone all this experience with them in 3U, to come back to Rise, they, they just feel so much more nostalgic to me. I'm like, oh, it's Volvi. And I remember the first time I met Volvi, I hated him. Uh, I think I even ranked him low in my, my rise list. But now I'm coming back and I was like, yeah, he's got the moveset, he's got everything. He's like my three U fights, but he's more modern and faster. And like, I like him, I can appreciate him so much more now. And I just love that I have this newfound appreciation. Royal Ludroth, I know his attack sets. And I was like, oh yeah, he's, he's doing his charge. He's gonna like ram me, I just roll here. And now I can roll like three, four times because the rise moveset is just so freaking fast. It feels awesome. The armor skills. This is so dumb to say out loud, but like I put on an armor and I got one. I was like, oh, how does this work? Do I need like 10 of these? Like, do I need to fill the gauge so that I can get an armor? And they're like, no, one skill gives you one point. Like it gives you the skill. One point gives you the skill. I'm like, oh, bless. Bless. I don't have to like get all these bogus numbers of like plus five plus six just to get to 10 so it activates the skill i just i see the skill it's activated i see it again it activates more so simple so amazing so good uh the other thing are trap speeds oh my god you just touch the trap button and it's like boop, and the trap's on the ground you don't have to wait forever trap just goes down oh an item Friggin' potions, you can run with the potion. You're not flexing all the time. I'm so, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. But you got, you, some of you know, but some of you don't know the pain of 3U. And it really changes you as a person. Like, you don't know how easy you got it in Rise until you play three, maybe 4U does this too in GU. I can't talk about those. But nah, man, these old games, they make you appreciate the new thing so much more. It just, it's, it's a gift and it feels really nice. And I really appreciate it. And Capcom, I just want to thank you. Thank you for, for giving me so much flexibility and so much movement that I can just focus on styling and making these hunts go fast. Like, not just go fast, but go smooth and go make me feel like a freaking killing machine. It's awesome. Uh, and then what's the last thing? Oh, traps. So I've also um, developed the kind of um, the ability, not the ability, but the... Um, habit of just carrying a bunch of traps on me and now i actually use traps not just to capture them but to like give me openings i'm like oh i need a trap here so i can like just bang on this monster a little bit longer that's something i would have never thought before so it's so fascinating to me because i went from world to rise and i was like oh world is better but after spending ha over half a year and three and going to rise i'm just like this game's amazing. I love it. They did so much. And I I feel I can understand both sides. I have to go back to World to remember why I, 
I think a lot of players that went from World to Rise, it didn't feel good because it was so it was such a massive switch. It was such a different experience and a different feeling. But when you go from 3U to Rise, yeah, you lose some stuff, but there's so many quality of life improvements. It's just, it's nice. It feels really nice. And I get some people like that old world challenge and they wish that some things remain. But I love the modern uh, things. I love that I can realistically get any armor set I would want. I can grind out all the armor sets if I want them in a reasonable amount of time. I just like everything so just more. Yeah, I just like where it's at. So with that, I am now almost up to date on my Rise skill set. I still have to challenge myself with the harder fights to make sure I'm really at top of my game. I have to rebuild my armor sets. I'm uh, I'm using right now the black belt gear just to get me ahead. But once I'm unlocking the final quest, I do want to rebuild some of my own high rank armor to take on those emergency quests or the event quests that are really hard apparently. Um, and at the same time, so what I'm going to be doing is I'll be going into master rank, advancing the story a little bit, and then doing a few quest cleanups. So I'm going to be dabbling uh, probably two armor sets, one master rank, one high rank, as I knock out all the quests in both rise and sunbreak we're just gonna have a good time as we go so hopefully you'll join me on stream and maybe help me on some hunts or i will see you on the next journal as i make my way through all of these quests including the ones i missed after i stopped playing rise over a year ago i'll see you there or in the next journal until next time keep it classy <laughs> subscribe